Hello, everybody. By request, I'm going to show my casting of uh, my cement bricks. And these are 1 12th scale bricks, and they are pretty close. So your standard brick is 8 by 8 by uh, 16 inches. And on our measurements, we are just over one and a quarter, so about 1.3 inches, which is right on. And then we're just about five eighths of an inch by just over five eighths of an inch. So they're real close in scale, true to scale for 1 12th for an eight by eight by 16 uh, cement block. And the mold comes with two different styles. So you got that one, you get three in that mold and three with this mold, as I will show you. So the key to success that I found with these bricks is having the right material for casting them. And so for the right material, I've found this expansion cement, Rockite, is the best and fastest for creating a nice, strong brick. And it does dry in 15 minutes, so once you get this mixed, you have to use it very quickly, get it in the mold, uh, get your mold uh, scraped off, before it sets on you. So, but that does create a nice strong brick. So, like I can squeeze that and nothing happened. I can stand on them. So that's my full weight and, ah, oh, yeah, there we go. And I did it on the weak side. So, but I was, I was jumping on it right there to get it to break on the weak side. Now on the strong side, I mean, there's, there's no way that I'll be able to get that to break. So that creates a nice, strong, real cement brick. And so they're fun for building and they're fun for just creating a load for your 114th scale equipment. So to start us off, we'll do a mixing stick, something to scrape with. I like the plastic scraper it's easy to clean and a cup I like these they got a nice pourable nozzle on them so it will pour into the mold really nice and easily and then our molds now I have three types of molds I do have the smaller brick as well and I just mold these out of excess so I'm not wasting any of my mixed material I try to get it as close as I can so I'm not wasting any material, but this mold right here takes up any of the excess. So we'll put him over there. And this is the mold I bought. So you can see it comes with uh, three of the square and three that have the slot in them. So what I did is I wanted more bricks than this, but I didn't want to pay 22 bucks for the mold. So I bought some silicone. And I made my own mold. And it's it's pretty easy to do. I just built a box out of foam board. And then I just laid some of my molded bricks, laid six of them in there, same pattern. And then what come out of it was that mold. So they turn out just as good, if not better than the original. And I like this one's a little bit stiffer silicone too. So that way now I'm doubled my manufacturing on there. So we'll get those laid out, ready to pour. All right, that looks good. So our mixing, now I've got this uh, measured out for how much I need for those six bricks. I just need a half a cup of my Rockite. So I measure out, it's just under half a cup. And then for the amount of water, it's just under a quarter of a cup. Now, we wanna make this a thin slurry. If you get it too watery, you get bubbles. If you get it too thick, you can't pour it fast enough, it doesn't fill the molds well, you get air bubbles as well. So, a good 
thin slurry is what you're after. So I don't add all of it. So I'll pour it down till I have just a, just a little bit left in there. Because it's easier to add water than it is to try and mix in more dry cement. So we'll get that mixed up in there. And see, that's already looking nice and thin, so I don't think I need any more, any more water than what I got in there. That looks like a going to be a good mixture right there. So then you just mix that up real good, get a nice stir on it, and try not to splatter all over like I just did. It happens, but it wipes up pretty good. But I do this over concrete and my, well, my work mats. So even if it gets concrete on it, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. But this stuff sticks really, really good. So most surfaces, you're not really going to peel it off. You can scrape it off of some of your concrete surfaces, but in general, it adheres really well. Which is what it's supposed to do. Okay, so now we got that mixed up, and as you can see on the stick, it's just got a nice, it's real watery like pour, but that's what we're targeting right there. So if it's if it's too watery, you, you'll you'll start to see a lot of bubbles start forming. I'm not getting a lot. This is this is a little on the thinner side than what I like. But then we just start pouring. And I'll try to stop shaking. You see how it just fills that mold up? Just make sure it gets a little overfill. So you want it to come up past the mold. And all I do is just pour in one spot. And that brings it up where it needs to be. And that's why you want it thinner. You want it to fill in all those spots. We'll be gentle on our last pour. So we can move to our next one without making too big of a mess. Okay. All right, we'll pull him back out of the way here a little bit. Bring our next mold up. And we're hoping to start running out of material towards the last brick that we pour. Because I'd rather extend this. I figured the cost with the rockite not counting the mold cost, this is about three cents a brick just for the rockite material. But these molds should last a long time. I've got some damage I'm starting to see on the one I purchased, no damage on the one that I made. It's holding up really well. These softer molds are starting to crack a little bit oh yeah so we're getting to our last bit of pour so we're I'm already having to hold it all the way up oh you can just get in drips will I have enough to fill that last one I don't know and the nice thing about these bricks too is you can cut them if you've seen my other videos where I'm building the wall uh, when I'm hitting the angles and stuff, I can cut and trim these bricks uh, with just a cutting wheel on my Dremel tool. Then I like to use all of my material up. Just scrape it out of there. So we're, we don't have quite a full brick there, but I'm not done yet. I'm gonna find my scraper. I'm just going to pull that material. From the excess over here. And this is how you 
flatten the tops of your bricks. Now you don't want to get too carried away because you don't want them indented because that'll cause problems. with having the bricks all the same size. And I love when I get this close on the material. Because even if I if I have excess, usually I'm only making up to maybe three little bricks. Okay. And I don't I don't have enough material so I'm not even going to bother. I'm just going to wipe the excess off on my towel here. And I just want to kind of flatten that out. Just be careful not to dig in too deep. That one's full. Make sure there's no air bubble. You see the concrete already starting to activate. You start getting these black marks. That's the chemical reaction starting to take place on that. And these will get warm, very warm. And if you see areas where it's real thick, you just want to clean some of the thicker material off because it being real watery, it, it's going to dry and we're going to be able to just kind of scrape that or rub that material off of the mold. But if it's thinner, it's easier. Okay, so those look all just about right. I like the way that looks. So we're gonna go with that. All right, and I'm just gonna let this run and we'll time lapse it to its finish. It, I just set a timer for 30 minutes to mold my bricks. So at 30 minutes, I will come back and then we will harvest our bricks but now what you want to do in the meantime is go clean up all your tools so the mixer the scraper and that go rinse them out I recommend not rinsing it in the yard uh, it does have a tendency to want to kill the grass it's not too happy with it so if you got a rock area or uh, I do mine in a cracked area in the concrete and so it just be careful where you do, do your cleanup on those. minutes is up and now we get to harvest our bricks so we just give them a quick rub down I like to rub the centers off and just give them a quick peel boom and there's three bricks give these ones a quick peel They just slide right on out of there. This mold's a little bit thicker, a little, a little bit harder material. I will get that center debris rubbed off. And then just give it a quick, and same thing. Just pop one side loose. Take off any of the excess material in the, those locations. And it's ready to mold again. So that's how I make my bricks, the material I use. And as you can see, they're very strong. So probably way stronger than scale-wise than what the full-scale ones would be. But uh, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed 
making those bricks and if you guys want that's a that's the one i bought but i would recommend making your own molds to increase production if you want a lot of them but that one will last for quite a while too all right well thank you for joining again